Okay, today we're going to be doing the integration of sine, cosine and sec squared. You may wonder what has happened to tangent, but um, we'll find later that the integral of tangent is a bit more tricky. So, let's um, review what we already know about the derivatives of these functions, of, of all these identities. So, d by dx of sine x is cos x um, and d by dx of sine ax plus b is a cos ax plus b d by dx of cosine x is minus sine x so d by dx is um, d by dx of cosine ax plus b is going to be minus a sine ax plus b and we have the derivative of the tangent was sec squared x d by dx um, oops um, tan ax plus b was a sec squared ax plus b um, <coughs> and as we know that the um, integral is the opposite of, different, of the derivative so by reversing these processes we come up with the integrals um, the integral of cos x dx is going to be sine x plus c and similarly the integral of cos ax plus b dx is going to be um, one over a sine a x plus b plus c one of the main things to really pay attention to is when you're introducing a negative. So with the derivative of cosine, the negative is negative sine, but the integral of cosine is positive sine. If you, obviously, if you look backwards there. Um, it's really simple, but it's really easy just to forget and get yourself in a bit of a muddle. So sine x dx is equal to minus cosine x plus c sine ax plus b dx is going to be negative 1 over a cosine ax plus b plus c and the integral therefore of sec squared x dx is tan x plus c and the integral of sec squared ax plus b dx is 1 over a tan ax plus b plus c. So <coughs> let's jump in and do some examples. So let's integral, integrate sine 2x dx. So that's just going to be our minus 1 over 2, because there's our a, cosine 2x. And remember the constant of integration. Similarly, the cosine of 3x dx is going to be 1 over 3 sine 3x plus c and the integral of 4 sec squared x over 2 dx this is a wee bit more tricky so we'll take our 4 out and then if you think this a is half so a, um, 1 over a half is 2 tan x over 2 
plus c, which is going to give us 8 tan x over 2 plus c. All nice and simple, so let's go and do something a wee bit more tricky. Um, we're going to find the definite integral of between 0 and pi over 4 of 3 minus 2 sine 2x dx. So this is going to <coughs> give us, so with this part first, 3x. Now the derivative of the sine is minus cosine. We've got a minus here, so that's going to become positive. And a is 2, so it's 2 over 2 is going to just, the 2's will We'll cancel out, but I'll write them in just for completeness. Cosine 2x, and it's between 0 and pi over 4. Um, slotting all this in, we've got 3 pi over 4 plus the cosine of, so it's going, the 2 and the 4 is going to, it's going to end up being pi over 2 minus 0 plus the cosine of 0 that's going to give us 3 pi over 4 the cosine of pi over 2 is 0 um, minus obviously this is 0, the cosine of 0 is 1 so it's going to be minus 1 um, and so we'll just leave it as as that, it's the neatest way to keep it written in. Um, and yes, so similar kind of ways that you would do with all the other integrals. Um, think about if, if coming on to something tricky, think about the trigonomic identities that you know and um, and just be aware of the signs. So I think, hope that helped.